I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell so that you can uh, see my next videos. Don't forget I've got a lot of videos on my channel so do look at old ones because they might inspire you. So today we're making this beautiful um, stepper card so it fit in a 6x6 six six envelope, open it up and that's how it will be displayed. So I've used um, old DSP and um, I've used Boho Indigo and I've used the new uh, Bow and Bow, uh, I think it's called Punch. Um, so let's get on. OK, so I've cut out a load of pieces, so I'm not sure what I'm using, so I've got lots of bits. I'll explain those as I go along. But first of all, we're starting off with a card base. This is Fresh Freesia and it is 10 inches by 6 inches. We're going to put this in our trimmer and we're going to just use our scoring blade and I need to find my um, bit of a buried it in here. Uh, there we go. Uh, so we need to score it on the long side at four inches. So I'm putting it along to the four inches. Let me just bring this. I need to position it so you can see it. There we go. So lining up at the four inches, going to score that. And then we're going to line it up at six inches. And then we're going to score that. So that's lined up at six inches and score. We're then going to turn it uh, to the short side. And we're going to put it in at the four inch mark. So line it up with the four inch mark. And then be careful because we're only going to score down to our second score line. So we're going to bring it down to the second score line. And you can see that on your trimmer blade. Don't forget you've got that mark on your blade. So you can line it up with your score line. So it's at four inches here and down at your second score line. And we're going to take it all the way up to the top. So that you've got a score line going all the way up there. We're going to turn it round 180 degrees. And then we're going to put it in again at 4 inches. And we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to line it up at the second score line. Using my guide on the side. So I'm lining that up. And then when I'm happy with it, I'm going to take it to the top. Okay. So we've got, it should look like that. Okay, so that's going up there. That's going down there now. I'm going to put it back on the long side now. And I'm going to place it in at two inches. And this time I'm only, I'm going to keep it at the top and only going to come down as far as this score line. So I've got it in at two inches. I'm bringing it down and to the to that score line taking it back up to the top okay and i'm going to rotate it 180 degrees do exactly the same so i'm going to put it in at two inches and then i'm going to put it level with the score line and then take it up so we should have a panel now that looks three squares there this three going down the middle and this three going along the bottom Okay, now we're going to put it in to our trimmer. Let me just turn for my instructions. And we're going to put it in at two inches. So let's see. Uh, let me get this right. Um, paste in and cut. So we've got to cut it. So... I'm placing it at two inches. So let me show you. I want to not show you the top. So I've put the top in at two inches. It's a bit difficult this because I can't um, pan out very much. 
Now I'm going to take it to my blade to the first score line and go along cutting. So place it down. Got it on the first, sorry, on the first score line here from the bottom. And I've got it at two inches at the top here. And I'm going to just cut to the third score line. So let's just get that. So what I've done is there is the bottom of the square and I've cut from that score line all the way to that score line. So we've got a square there, we're not going into the square. So I'm going to turn it around line it up again at two inches so um so i've done it 180 i'm lining it up at two inches at the top i'm getting my cutting blade and my cutting blade is going to go from the score line so this score line here so i'm going from the score line so i'm going to cut from that score line up to the third score line okay just going to make sure that i've got that there we go okay so i think i've done that right hopefully so you've got it like that right okay so let's put my guide up so now we should have two cut lines like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this first one. So you're going to have it so that you've got one square at the top and your big square at the bottom. So I'm using that one to do as a mountain fold. And the next one I'm going to do as a valley fold. OK, and the next big one I'm going to do as a mountain fold and then i'm going to put this one as the mountain fold so that mountain fold and that is going to be a valley fold so that when you push it all over it ends up like that okay so i'm just going to use my bone folder so for my bone folder move my trimmer out of the way so we're just going to put the creases on now. So make sure that this is level. So I'm going to try and get it level and then crease that one. I'm going to make sure I've got the top bit level and crease that one. And with those two being right, I'm going to crease that one. I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to go underneath and just bring those creases in there so I've tucked it so that's how it'll be right I'm just going to open it out again now what I've got is um, let's see we've got a gold piece these are my mats so you want three of this size and this is um three and three quarters by three and three quarters so you want three of those and then uh you want only two that is three and a half by three and a half so i'm just going to stick those on first oh i'm just getting my glue and we're going to see which way i want my dsp i think i want it up and down so be careful if your dsp is directional so uh, at this point with putting it on your mat it doesn't matter because it's square you can put it the right way if you've got this wrong so we're just going to make sure there's equal increment all the way around so just make sure that's right so I'm just going to pop that for one side a minute and do the next one. As I say, this is three and three quarters uh, by three and three quarters. And then your DSP mat is three and a half by three and a half. 
Okay, so we're just going to place that on there. And make sure we get that in the centre. When it's on um, foil card, it will move about, so be very careful. So I've done two of the big mats, and now I'm going to do the little ones. So my little ones are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And the DSP to go on the top is one and a half by one and a half. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got these all done. Um, so just bear with me while I stick these on. So as I say, I'm not bothered at the minute because this square I can just plonk them on my gold and I'll sort the direction out when I put them on. So these little square ones, you need uh, seven of your mats and seven of your DSP. So it doesn't take too long to stick them down. Just make sure that you've got that equal increment all the way round. I always think this um, DSP is the one that we got free at Celebration, uh, Friendly Hello, and we've got the stamp set to go with it. Well, uh, as, as I've told you before, I was quite poorly, and so I have not got a chance of using these, so I am using them now. But um, you can use any DSP you like, and any coloured uh, card, as I say, mine's Fresh Freesia. Uh, so you can use any DSP that you've got so uh, it's not restricted to the DSP that I am using there's lots of beautiful DSP in the new catalogue um, uh, so you're not limited at all uh, now um, I have uh, cut out some um, bow and bow, I think it's called the um, punch, I've used that, that is available in the new catalogue, so, uh, you can get that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some of the things that will be from my stash that I've collected, I'm sorry but I am going to use what products I have got, I don't believe in wasting, um, I always buy DSP that I like, I always buy um, the stamp sets that I like because um, I intend to use them for years to come. Um, Right, so we're, I'm going to do the back one as well. Remember, this is the 3x3. Three three. Now, uh, this is a beautiful uh, new stamp set. Uh, the one that I've done in the background is called uh, Speedy Recovery. Um, if you're looking at mine, I think it's uh, German. Um, I was sent this uh, by mistake, but some stamping up is such a great company that... Um, Often, if things are sent by mistake, they allow you to keep them. Not all the time, but um, I've been very blessed and they let me keep this one. So uh, I've had to put Speedy Recovery. So if you want in this stamp set, which it's got some beautiful things in. Um, and I love this bouquet. I like stamping it uh, on the background of the sentiment. And uh, the, the sentiment I have used is from uh, Special Moments. There's some fabulous, um, and this is in the new catalogue, the other one's in the new catalogue as well. So uh, I've used um, this one. Thank you for brightening up my day. So I've used that as the verse. Uh, so we'll glue that on. So I did that ahead of time to save... Uh, or some uh, some time as the video could get quite lengthy with all the uh, sticking I've got to do so okay so we've done that one right now um, let's start to assemble I have um, I'm not sure whether this is still available or not the iconic dies 
has some fabulous dyes in this. Uh, as I say, I'm not sure whether it is in the new catalogue. Uh, it'd be a shame if it hasn't gone through because um, it is a fabulous uh, dye set. Uh, I'm just uh, looking. Uh, you could actually replace it with the meadow dyes. So you could use the meadow dyes that's in the new catalogue. Um, I can't see it so far. No, it's not in. Uh, so the meadow dyes, they would be absolutely fantastic for what I am doing. So I don't have these, but they would be really great. Uh, I've also used um, the... Uh, the sentiment from the Happy Hedgehog, it's so nice of you to be so nice. I thought that was a beautiful sentiment. And um, I have used the other, the other sentiment from there. That's right. So what I'm going to do now is start to put my um, mats on. So as I say now, if you've got directional uh, paper, this is where you need to check your directions to um, which way it's going so I'm just going to uh, look for an equal increment all the way round there we go there we go and I want the other one's going to go up here uh, So it's a very impressive card. It's, it's just um, takes a little bit of uh, cutting out all your mats and layers. Uh, but the assembly, I think, is fairly quick. So there we go. Just make sure you get an equal increment. Now I'm going to make sure that I get these the right way I want them to be. So that one. Happy for it to be there. So again, just make sure that you're getting uh, equal increments all the way around. There we go. Uh, and as I say, put it the way you want. So this colour is petal pink that um, I have got of the DSP. So I've put it with fresh freesia and then the gold, of course. So I think that sets it off. Uh, I've actually done uh, the flower that I've done as the background from the um, recovery I think it was called wasn't it not familiar yet with it can't remember so just make sure that they're straight I thought this was pretty so as I say that uh, the meadow would work perfectly well to uh, do what I'm going to do with my uh, iconic uh, dies. All the rest of the things, as I say, apart from my DSP, uh, current. So, but I am overflowing with DSP, so I am not allowing myself to buy any more DSP because uh, I cannot get it in my cupboard bit so I have got too much so I need to start using it up so if you've been following me for some time you'll have an idea of what DSPs I've got but as I say DSP you can always use uh, the current DSPs uh, so that is not a issue at all and this one here Uh, which way I want it. Might stick it. Might stick it that way. 
Uh, let's just make sure. Just have to look whether I think that's okay. So that's um, going to look pretty lovely. Okay. Uh, so this is some of the peach um, DSP, and I've just cut out from the uh, Forever Fern. Uh, flourishing it's probably called the die set so I've just cut this out of DSP because I really liked the uh, in and out of change colour so that's um, the background colour is pear pizzazz so I thought that was uh, rather nice so I thought I'll go for that now uh, these are from the iconic dies but we have lots of uh, flower dies that you can um, use so uh just there's probably some in that um flushes one so gonna just put those there now i like uh to put some little tiny um flowers in the middle i'm just going to get my tool um so i've got the putty on the end here so I've got little tiny yellow ones and I like to just put a little tiny yellow one in the centre. So I'm going to put a dab of blue in there and then just put that in the centre there. So this is just one of my um, punches that I've got. I've had it a very long time. Um, it just You just want something for the middle. Well, you don't have to. Of course, uh, but I just like to put in the yellow. This is a very old DSP that I had got scraps, and so I decided to make a little scrappy thing and do that. I'm also going to put some little gems in the middle. Oh, where are they? Save. There they are. Couldn't find them. Oh no, they're pills. Oh, uh, if I can't find them, I'll end up putting these pills on. I have them, and oh, there they are. That's it. There we go. So, put the little sparkly. So, anything little sparkly to just go in the middle. I just think that sets it off. So, put one, and I wouldn't be without my tool because it helps for I like the pointy side for picking up gems there we go so I also thought I don't use the bows enough so I thought I might do today is stick a little bow on there so I need some um, glue dots just get my glue dots. I save all my glue dots from kits. Uh, so I just pick those off. Find them dead easy to do. Put that on the back. Get it pressed down. Take my backing off. Come on. That's what I wanted to play today. Come on, are you coming off? Yes, that's it. I'm going to stick my bow on. I don't want it too big, so I'm going to stick that. Then my sharp scissors. And we'll cut the tail. Cutting it to a funny angle. That's it. That's it. Cut that a little bit shorter. There we go. And have it like that. And uh, then I thought I'd decorate up here as well. So I've got, uh, it's so nice of you to be nice. Um, 
going to trim that down I think I'm going to oh, um, I'm going to uh, flag tail it so I'm going to cut that about the same-ish and then put it into I don't know whether this is a, called a banner punch or never sure but uh, I'm going to put it in and get that even put it off there and do the same again get it in there get it in the middle and punch there we go and I might put that at the bottom of might have it going near the top not decided might cut it a little bit narrower so uh, I'm going to get my trimmer got my mini guillotine trimmer that I like for jobs like this so just put that out of the way and then let's just pop this in and take it a bit it and the other way take that off there we go I love that trimmer um, I don't think it well you can't get it now I got it when I became a demonstrator it was um, lovely yes there we go so going to stick some dimensionals on that uh, I've done with those now oh. oh right they're right beside me I don't know whether you could see them on camera or not but they were right beside me and I missed them so unbelievable okay so I'll pop those there. So nice of you to be nice. Put that in the middle and just gonna do that. Okay. And then we're going to make up this other bit up here. So I've got some bits of fern. I didn't know which ones I wanted to use, so don't know whether I'm going to use those. I don't know whether I'm going to use the now because there's something very similar in the catalogue with this fern actually. So I might do that. I might do the the ferns there, and then I've cut out some of these fresh freezy ones. Might put some on there, there. That's a little green one. So another fresh freezer. So I might put something like that, I think. And then I'll have a big flower at the bottom, maybe. I'll have a look. Right, I'll start doing some gluing down. So let's put little bit of that down so this is the bow and bow punch so put that going there and as I say there is something very similar to this um, ferny one whether it's in the uh, meadow one but I know I've seen something very similar to this so if you really wanted to use any one like I'm using then that will work okay so let's put yes I'm just going to put this a bit higher up and then I'll put these lower down so I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue on them 
There we go. And I think I'll pop this up on a dimensional. So I've got this one. I'll pop it up on a dimensional because a big one will just fit on that. Pop that in the middle and then just do exactly what I did before. Get one of my little yellow flowers. Pop a little bit of there in the middle. There we go, and then I'll pop a little diamond in the middle there. And then I just want a little bit of something there, so just going to have a look through um, I wonder if we can just get that. I'm just going to see whether I've got anything that will just find in any frame. That and I'm going to do it with um, Smoky Slate. So I'll do it with Smoky Slate. Uh, I just need a bit of card let's see if i've got anything that oh that will just fit on there so let's move that away now my tablecloth uh and i didn't bring the smoky slate did i so just rub it's brand new i've not used this um one so i'm rubbing on the back of my hand to make it rough up a bit get rid of the film and patting on my uh, and then because this is spongy underneath i'm just going to go straight on the top there that's it so this is smoky slate sometimes i don't like to use black black and i didn't want to use fresh freezer or the others so um I wanted to use that now uh, just going to uh, oh, use my guillotine I think so I'll just use my guillotine to make it smaller <laughs> let's have a look see if I like that and that will just fit in the corner like that now sometimes i think that's a bit bare uh so i like to um do an edging round um now uh i don't want to do petal pink uh don't want to do the gray so i think i want a fresh freesia Yes. So fresh freesia. I'm just getting a sponge dauber and I just like to go in the the corner and I'm gonna just go round in fresh freesia just a little bit all the way round. Gives it that little bit of something. Let's 
set. Oh my. Okay, let's pop that out of the way. And I think I'll pop that up on dimensionals as well. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. I think three will be enough. We'll pull those off. And there we go. So that's uh, sorry. That's how it'll look when it's stood up that you'll be able to see. So uh, I think that's pretty card. Folds like that into your six by six envelope. So I hope you liked that. Then on the back we have got the sentiment and where you write so we'll just put that on now to show you on the back um, uh, there we go thanks for brightening up my day so put that on okay so that's the back and then that's the front, so that's how it will sit for them, like that, okay? And it will sit so they can see those three. So I hope you like that. Um, as I say, the other one I did was uh, with Boho Indigo. I um, cut out the vase in the pale papaya and I embossed it with one of the little folders. The leaves I have done with the medium of the um, frosting that uh, white frosting that Stampin' Up used to do. It's like uh, puts a sheen on things, pearlizes things. So I use that on here with a sponge dauber. So um, that's the the one. So the happy birthday was from um, the artistically inked, and of course a bunch of love to you is from uh, the uh, boho indigo and then on the back again i did that but used the brand new set uh, for these two with some uh, out of the special moments i think it's called and this one um i forgot what it's called the recovery I wish uh, speedy recovery that's what it's called so that's uh, that one and then you've got that one so i hope you liked those um give me a thumbs up if you liked that please and uh, as i say don't forget to um press the notification button and subscribe to me thank you very much for dropping by I do appreciate that thank you bye